Unai Emery's Arsenal failed to win the Europa League last night as they got battered by Chelsea four goals to one and with that they won't be getting Champions League football next season as even in the Premier League they disappointed and they finished only fifth after looking very likely to finish in the top four towards the end of the league season they bottled. Watching Arsenal recently just got me thinking about how good Arsenal were as a club a decade and a half ago. They had world-class players everywhere Thierry Henry, Bergkamp, they used to challenge for the Premier League title and even the Champions League but now well they're not even in the Champions League and it's quite frankly embarrassing I genuinely feel bad for Arsenal fans these days well hopefully today's FIFA 19 experiment will help cheer you Arsenal fans a tad bit as I'll be comparing the current Unai Emery's Arsenal up against of course Arsene Wenger's Arsenal with world-class players like Henri and all it should be fun. Now I know this experiment shouldn't even be allowed considering Wenger's Arsenal were the Invincibles and in comparison Emery's Arsenal can't even get into the Champions League but hey that's what we do in these experiments we'll be putting these two teams in a computer versus computer match to find out which manager's team comes out on top. If you guys do enjoy these experiment style videos I would really appreciate a like on this one it's actually been a long time since we've done a manager based experiment so if you guys want to see more drop a like and comment down below what kind of experiment you want to see subscribe for more content and let's get this started let's first take a look at Unai Emery's Arsenal so I've gone with the same exact formation and lineup Arsenal went with last night in the Europa League final against Chelsea so that's why it's a three at the back formation Aubameyang and Lacazette up front is such a good strike force can't help but think why Emery didn't utilize them more often this season Mesut Ozil and Cam if I'm not wrong he's had a bit of beef with Unai Emery but I guess it's now all sorted Kolasinac and Maitland-Niles on either side Maitland-Niles I'm not gonna lie was terrible against Chelsea but hey he's a youngster and he should learn from that Lucas Torreira and Xhaka in midfield can't lie Torreira has been a fantastic signing for Arsenal you've got Socrates, Koscielny and Monreal in defense I can't stress enough Arsenal need a new centre-back someone world-class and they just won't sign a centre-back. I just don't understand the transfer policy. Perichek in goal as well. On the bench for Emery's team, you've got the likes of Leno. Don't know why he doesn't start for Emery. You've got Lichtsteiner, Mustafi, Gwendouzi, who's turned out to be a fine footballer. Elneny, Mkhitaryan, of course. There's been a lot of controversy surrounding this guy because of the fact that he's Armenian and couldn't play in the Europa League final. But we'll put him on the bench for this experiment and Iwobi as well. So there is your Emery's arm. Arsenal team. Koscielny is going to captain this team with Ozil and Aubameyang sharing the free kicks and you've got Lacazette taking pens and Xhaka and Ozil taking corners. Here we've got Wenger's Arsenal. Now the players I've included for his team they're from his entire time at Arsenal not a particular season so you've got the likes of Thomas Vermeilen as well as the likes of Dennis Bergkamp in the team. So a 4-4-2 formation I thought that suits the team best and here's the team. Because I'm recording this video on the PC version of FIFA 19 I can get icons in kickoff mode and that is why you've got the likes of Thierry Henry in the team. Henry and Bergkamp up front what a strike force is that the best Premier League strike duo of all time comment down below and let me know Alexis Sanchez down the left flank may seem a bit odd you know for me to include him but tell you what at Arsenal he was superb at Man United yes his main highlight was playing the piano but at Arsenal this guy was special you've got Robert Perez on the right flank I know he's a left midfielder but to fit him in this team I've put him on the right Patrick Vieira what a leader this guy is and Emmanuel Petit as well in the team that is what I call a midfield man Arsenal's 2004-05 team was just unreal with those two in midfield. I'm only including players that are in FIFA 19 so that's why no Ashley Cole but I've put in Kieran Gibbs. Again he's a Wenger player. You've got Vermeilen and Sol Campbell in defense. Thomas Vermeilen if not for injuries I think this guy would have been one of the best defenders in the Prem and yeah injuries definitely caused his career to you know go downhill for a bit at least. You've got Sol Campbell alongside him. Prime icon version. Bellerin at right back. Well the reason why he's in Wenger's team is because he's been injured all season long and has barely played for Emery's team so kind of makes sense putting him in the Wenger Arsenal side. Lehmann in a goal now that's what I call a world-class keeper. On the bench you've got some more Arsenal players like Giroud, 
Fabregas, Alex Song, Wilshire, Walcott, Overmars and Aaron Ramsey, all Wenger players in here. Aaron Ramsey again, currently a part of the Emery squad, but again, he's just the Wenger player, man, so we've got to put him in here. So there you go, that is Wenger's Arsenal. So there you go, that is the Wenger Arsenal team, and it's now time to put these two teams in a computer versus computer match. It is Unai Emery's Arsenal up against Arsene Wenger's Arsenal. Let's get into the gameplay. Looks like Unai Emery's team is on the attack first. It'll be interesting to see who scores in this one because I think the first goal is going to be tremendously important. Kolasinac in behind the granite Xhaka. Xhaka shoots, but there you go. Patrick Vieira tracking back, getting the job done, puts in a good block. Aubameyang now inside. It's a Socrates. What's he doing up front? Finds Maitland Niles. The youngster has an opportunity to do something. Gives it back to Torreira and the attack is gone. What on earth was that? And they've given it away to Patrick Vieira. Well, sums it up. Now it's Kolasinac finding Mesut Ozil. Ozil back to Torreira who shoots and yeah, the chance is gone. I'm very disappointed with Wenger's Arsenal so far. I feel like they need to do a bit more. Patrick Vieira controlling the midfield. What's he going to do? Out wide to Dennis Bergkamp. That is a beautiful delivery, but no one was attacking it. An easy clearance there by Koscielny. Petit. Now Patrick Vieira inside to Andre. Some nice build-up play from Wenger's men. Emmanuel Petit once again finds Kieran Gibbs. Into Thierry Henry, again some great build-up play, Sanchez whipping in a good ball, Kolasinac was there. It's a corner for Arsenal and it's going to be Alexis Sanchez now, corner's been taken short, still Sanchez could whip in a cross from here, or even a shot, finds Thierry Henry, back to Vieira, Vieira shoots, Vieira scores, he's just too good man. This Wenger's Arsenal team is just so clinical, they created like their second chance of the game and they've put it in, a brilliantly taken set piece, Sanchez, Henry all worked it all so well and of course Patrick Vieira with a sensational finish, I mean look at that, that is just unstoppable and Wenger's men have got the lead already. How is Unai Emery's Arsenal going to respond, that is the interesting question now, well probably not well as here's Dennis Bergkamp, could find a pass to Thierry Henry, instead holds off his man, out wide to Robert Pires. Pires could play it back to Bergkamp, instead goes for Vieira. Vieira inside to Emmanuel Petit, now Thierry Henry who shoots and threatens check really well, but Petacek with a good save this time around. I mean, Wenger's team is just so lethal, man. Their passing interplay is just all perfect. Dennis Bergkamp out wide to Robert Pires. Pires finds Patrick Vieira, back to Bergkamp now. Bergkamp inside to Petit who goes for a similar attempt to what Vieira did a few minutes ago but this time with his weaker right foot couldn't really threaten check. And the domination of Wenger's Arsenal continues as they might have another chance. Here's Bergkamp finding Thierry Henry and of course Henry is gonna score in a 1v1 situation. Thierry Henry at his absolute best. Bergkamp linking up with him as well and it's so nice to see Henry and Bergkamp linking up again in an Arsenal shirt. Have a look at that for a goal. Sanchez involved as well. That first time pass to Henri, not Meng's check as well, I'm sure you Arsenal fans will enjoy this for a goal, look at that from Henri, classic Henri, and it is 2-0 for Wenger's men. I'm sure Unai Emery will be happy with the fact that the ref has blown for half time because they've been destroyed in this first half, it looked like in the first 5-10 to 10 minutes, Unai Emery's men, they're going to compete, but well, the quality shines through for Wenger's team, Henri with a brilliant goal, Vieira with a fantastic goal, let's see how Emery's men respond in the second half. Just holding up the play, oh my goodness, that was ruthless there from Thierry Henry, the nutmeg of dreams there, absolutely sensational. And now Patrick Vieira and Bellerin just toying with Unai Emery's men, they just cannot even get the ball, nor can they do anything with it, it's actually embarrassing. Looks like we're seeing some substitutions as Mark Overmars comes on for of course uh, Alexis Sanchez who actually had a decent game. Look at that, 40% possession for Unai Emery's team and 64 of course Wenger, that is just brutal. Mark over Mars, now Kieran Gibbs, now it is Thierry Henry, back to Gibbs, Gibbs whips in a fantastic ball, Pires with the header and I think that is off the post or check saved, I'm not sure but Wenger's team continue to dominate. And here go Wenger's men again on the attack, here Walcott has been brought on as a substitute, is he gonna cross it in, what's he gonna do, cuts it inside, cuts it back to Dennis Bergkam again, Bergkam tries another incisive pass, and the attack is broken down finally, at least for once. Oh, look at that again. I was just going to say Arsenal defended that well. But what kind of a clearance was that from Socrates? Comical defending. Can we see something from Emery's men? Because it's been so dead. It's literally been Andre and Bergkamp just having fun and toying around with this current Arsenal defence. Like, imagine in real life, it's Thierry Andre 
and of course Bergkamp would have to face Mustafi and the likes of Socrates. It'll be a bloodbath. That's the way it'll go down in my opinion. Looks like Andre and Co aren't done yet. Jack Wilshire has come on as well. Bergkamp finds Vieira back to Dennis. Bergkamp shoots first time. 3-0. Job done. It's, it's actually destruction. That's the best way to describe it. Literally, Wenger's men have just walked all over Emery's team. And they've barely had any chances as well. That's the bad thing about it. But phenomenal to see this Arsenal team perform so well. All the legends have scored. Bergkamp, Andre, and even Patrick Vieira. Look at that for a finish though. Brilliant. The misery for Unai Emery's men has come to an end. As of course, Wenger's team walks away with a convincing 3-0 win. It was, it was just embarrassing for the team in red. Because Andre, Bergkamp, Patrick Vieira were all in the mood. And they hammered them. And again in the Europa League final, Emery's team lost with a three-goal deficit. Same thing again here in this experiment. So there you go. Wenger's team has come out on top and in fantastic fashion. Well, that is that, I suppose, for today's experiment. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these FIFA 19 experiments. And if so, a like would be absolutely amazing. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 content. And I will see you guys next time.